Artificial intelligence has made tremendous improvements over the past year. Giving us new and exciting ways of using technology like never before. Ultimately, allowing us to advance as a human civilization. Nice. Whether it's text to image generation, complex video effects at the click of a mouse, or natural language processing generating wildly accurate human-like responses via text, we're living in an age that is truly remarkable. But can we use these innovations to help us become better accordionists? In this video, I'm gonna be examining and reacting to 20 AI-generated tips for becoming a better accordionist. Stay tuned. All right, so let's dive in. We are using ChatGPT. ChatGPT is a form of artificial intelligence where you type in pretty much anything and it gives you very accurate responses worded in a way that it, it feels like a human is on the other side feeding you these answers. It's pretty bizarre. You can ask it anything under the sun and it gives you very accurate information. So let's see what it has to say about learning the accordion. So let's try... Give me 20 tips, 20 best tips on how to become better at the accordion. Okay, and just like that, it's spitting out a bunch of answers. We're gonna see how accurate all of these things are. Some of them might be great, some of them might not be so great, but we'll see what it has to say and hopefully we all learn something here. At the very least, this should be entertaining, so let's dive in. Number one, start with proper posture. Sit up straight, relax your shoulders, keep your back aligned to follow optimal airflow. I, I think that's pretty accurate, I, I would have to agree. Number two, familiarize yourself with the instrument, learn the different parts of the accordion and understand how they work together. Again, you're gonna wanna do this. Of course, you could just pick it up and start sawing on it and see what happens, but if you're familiar with all the parts, all the moving parts, that's gonna only help with everything. And if anything goes wrong with the accordion, you should be able to identify it. And yeah, even before buying an accordion, you're gonna wanna familiarize yourself with all of the different parts. You might have bellows that leak. You might have a pad that has come off and as you're playing, a note is just stuck. You're, you're gonna want to know the instrument at least a little bit inside and out and uh, that's only gonna make things smoother. Number three, master the bellows control. Practice smooth and controlled movements while maintaining consistent airflow. I would have to agree with this. I don't know about consistent airflow because there is dynamics when it comes to pushing and pulling and it might not always be consistent in terms of, you know, velocity, but I think they're on the, the, the right track. I mean, mastering the bellows control is, you know, you're, you're gonna wanna understand that. You're gonna wanna know when to take a breath and, and uh, when to switch sides. So I would say that that's, that's a halfway thumbs up. I'll say that that's, that's a pretty good tip. Number four, learn proper hand placement. Position your hands correctly on the keyboard and buttons to maximize efficiency and minimize strain. I would agree with that. You wanna kinda of find a nice comfortable zone for this hand and then with uh, your, your keyboard hand, keep it out to the side and nice, nice relaxed grip like you're holding a tennis ball. Number five, focus on finger dexterity. Practice finger exercises and scales to improve speed, accuracy, and overall coordination. Again, thumbs up. You're gonna want to unlock certain patterns with your fingers when you're playing. All of that is just gonna give you a, a bigger vocabulary when it comes to playing some of these songs. If you're doing arpeggios or chords or, you know, anything that, that requires the fingers to move independently, you're gonna to wanna to learn that. So there are, you know, different finger exercises you can do. I might have to cover that in another video, but uh, yeah, that's something you kinda of want to work towards unlocking is finger dexterity. Number six, develop a strong sense of rhythm. Work on playing in time and practice with a metronome to improve your timing skills. You're going to want to develop a sense of rhythm that feels 
musical. Sometimes when we play, it can be robotic. I know that I've played very robotic for maybe about the first five years. It was it was pretty robotic, and eventually, you know, you you break away from that and you start to feel it a little bit more, get more rhythmic. But having a good sense of rhythm is going to come from playing with a metronome or even like a backing track, a drum track. All of that stuff is great. It's going to provide you with, you know, something to play to, something to hit the mark. And yeah, with backing tracks, it's almost like playing a video game. Like you you start the track and you, you try your best to get all the way through without making mistakes. You make a little flub here or there and you have to re-catch yourself. But I love playing with backing tracks. As, as you guys know, I, I play with backing tracks all the time for my music videos or for shows. So doing something like that is really going to help. Number seven, study music theory. Understanding music theory will enhance your ability to read sheet music, identify patterns, and play more expressively. I would agree. Learning music theory is one of those things that you should know. I know only so much of it because I'm self-taught. There's plenty of videos that you can you can learn music theory. Even if it doesn't apply to the accordion, you can type in music theory lessons and you're gonna learn concepts that apply to any instrument. So it will be helpful to at least know some basic concepts when it comes to that. Number eight, start with simple tunes. Begin with easy songs and gradually progress to more complex pieces as your skills improve. Again, hit the nail on the head. You don't wanna be starting with something that you can't tackle. You wanna start with something easy, a, a low hanging fruit that, you know, when you grab it, you, you're, you, you're, you eat it, you're satiated, and then, you know, you'll, you'll work your way up to the top eventually, but you don't want to, you don't want to start with something that makes you feel defeated. You want to be working on things that give you that sense of satisfaction. And if you start with easier songs, you're going to, you're going to tackle it. You're going to do well. You're going to feel that sense of accomplishment, and then you can move on from there. So again, <laughs> These are, these are great. You wanna know something crazy? Over 90% of the people watching this video right now are not subscribed. Please take a moment, click that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any cool accordion content we put out moving forward. Thank you so much. Number nine, take lessons from a qualified instructor. A teacher can provide personalized guidance, correcting your technique and offering valuable feedback. I couldn't agree with this more. Having a teacher is really going to fast track you to the next level and having a personalized teacher who really knows you, understands you, wants to get in your head to see how you operate, that makes all the difference. So I connected with Smiling Jack. He was the winner of the Squeeze and Thanks online accordion competition. He's become a very great friend. We hang out and, and video chat for hours every week and he's become a really, really dear friend of mine and he cares about seeing me get better. And he really took a lot of time in the first few sessions to understand where I'm at and what those next few little steps are. So all lessons are gonna be different. If you're a beginner, it's gonna take, you know, a little bit of uh, just going through the motions, but for someone who's a little bit more intermediate, I would say, he's really helping me see where I'm lacking and how I can get better. So if you want to link up with Smiling Jack, I believe he's gonna be taking on students soon. He used to be a, an accordion teacher and now he wants to kind of step back into that. So if you do wanna connect with Smiling Jack, I'll leave his email down in the description below. Number 10, practice regularly. Set aside dedicated practice time each day to build muscle memory and reinforce what you learned. I couldn't agree with this more. I know that sometimes I fall into the habit of picking up the accordion here and there, and I notice that my my musicianship fails because of it. I, I would say that you know the days that I pick up the accordion every single day, even if it's for five minutes, it makes a huge difference in my progress, whether it's a, a piece that I'm learning or anything else, I think that this is a great tip. Number 11, break down challenging sections. Divide difficult passages into smaller segments and practice them separately before putting them together. If you're working on the bridge and something's a little unfamiliar with the song, you know, just practice that over and over and over again. And then if there's another section that, that's giving you difficulty, slow it down, break it down, really get that section down before piecing it together. And when you do piece it together, 
even those moments of like the transition where it's like I've learned this part and I've learned this part now you just have to learn this and it's it really helps breaking things apart learning it individually man the, <laughs> these tips are, are actually really good number 12 record yourself playing listen to your recordings to identify areas for improvement and to track your progress over time there's going to be times where you're sitting in a jam session just working something out and you make a mistake and you might not realize it and it might not be like a blatant mistake but you might just do something a little bit different that you weren't used to doing and then when you go back and you listen to it within that recording you, you you'll have these aha moments where it's like that actually sounds good I actually could use that and, and draw from that so if you get the chance to you know get a big SD card get a, a cheap camera or even an audio recording device set that up record yourself and even if you do it once a week I think that that's an amazing way of not only reflecting on the passages that you're learning, but also, you know, keeping that for record so you can go back to it and track your progress. Number 13, join a music group or ensemble. Playing with others will help you develop your listening skills, learn new techniques, and improve your musicality. I would agree with that, although I haven't taken that advice myself very much. I, uh, I usually jam by myself and... I know that I'm lacking because of it. I would be learning new things, learning new techniques, being exposed to different things that challenge me, and I, I don't do that, and I, I, I need to get better at that. Number 14, attend workshops and masterclasses. Participating in accordion workshops and masterclasses can provide valuable insights and inspiration. I haven't taken any masterclasses or workshops, I haven't been a part of that, but I can only imagine that that would be highly beneficial. So. Maybe when the time comes, if, if there is, you know, the perfect workshop for me to take, of course, they're probably not cheap. You might have to travel. Concentrated learning sessions like that, you will get a lot out of it. Number 15, explore different musical genres. Experiment with various styles of music to broaden your repertoire and develop your versatility as a player. I would agree with that, although I just play pop music most of the time, which is super easy, and I love it, I have fun with it, but I could be doing a lot better if I stepped out and tried other things, some of the traditional stuff like polka, or waltzes, or tangos, I mean, like, there's so much out there that I would benefit from, and I would broaden my vocabulary of what I'm capable of doing if I do that, so... Yeah, I'm learning. Hopefully you guys are learning too. Yeah, if, if you're getting anything out of this so far, hit that like button and yeah, let's keep, uh, let's keep going. Number 16, listen to professional accordionists. Study recordings of skilled accordionists to gain inspiration, learn different playing techniques, and develop your musical interpretation. I'd like to add to that, instead of just listening to professional accordionists, I would also say watch professional accordionists. Hearing it's one thing, seeing it is another, and being able to do both is great. And with YouTube, you're able to slow the clip down to like 25% of the speed. You'll be able to hear what they're doing, see what they're doing, and even see it at a slower rate. So I would say that all of those things are very valuable. Number 17, memorize your repertoire. Aim to memorize the music you play regularly to improve your performance and focus on musical expression. Whenever you're performing, whether it's for a few people or a crowd, you're not gonna wanna rely on a book, a sheet music, charts, anything like that. So only use it for so long, really commit it to memory, and you're gonna be so much better off because of it. Number 18, experiment with dynamics. Practice playing with varying levels of loudness and softness to add depth and emotion to your music. The accordion is such an expressive instrument and if you're not utilizing that element of expressiveness, you're only going so far with it. I've seen even professional accordionists that they they don't they don't understand the the nuances of dynamics. Like they're playing, they're doing amazing virtuistic stuff, but there's a lack of emotion and because the accordion is so expressive you're missing out if you're not tapping into the dynamics of it the expressiveness of it when when to play a little bit louder and when to play a little bit softer I, I of course you know, who am I to say I like I could always be better with all of these things but yeah dynamics are a huge part I'm, I'm learning that I'm trying to get better at that but uh yeah, dynamics are something that uh, everybody should should focus on learning. 
Number 19, perform in front of others. Whether it's friends, family, or a small audience, performing can help you overcome stage fright and enhance your stage presence. I was the biggest scaredy cat when it comes to performing. I remember the first time I went street performing, I I like went in like a, a very quiet park bench. It was like it was a low bar of entry to to you know rather than be in the center of attention, you know where there's a lot of foot traffic. I I, I chose a small bench, and I set up and I played, and it was a good little stepping stone. But I was I was so afraid to start doing this in front of people. I think the accordion has a bit of a stigma, and it is this like weird thing and if you're not good at it like you can feel inadequate and that's you know that's that, that was tough for me to overcome but I, I pushed myself and I encourage everybody to, to do that push yourself to go out and perform even if it's you know bringing it to a party or you know a campfire or something I, I think that playing for other people is really what the accordion is is all about I think that's what it's meant for and the last one, number 20, stay motivated and have fun. Remember to enjoy the process of learning the accordion and stay motivated by setting achievable goals and celebrating your progress. I can't believe that they like not only gave you 20 awesome tips, all valid, but they ended on a high note. Like they, they thought to summarize it, like this artificial intelligence thought to summarize it and end on a high note and they even wrote another uh, another little paragraph by following these tips and dedicating yourself to consistent practice you'll gradually become better at playing the accordion and develop your own unique style good luck so what do you guys think i think this information is so crazy i mean just about every single one of these tips is valid and it holds up Technology is getting crazy, but we all can benefit from it. So head on over to chat.openai.com and you'll be able to test this for yourself. If you have any, if you want any further explanations on any of these topics, I mean like right here, let's see, elaborate on number 15, we'll say. So when you, when you type in elaborate on number 15, right here we have six more elaborate tips. So use this to your advantage guys like you guys can use this for anything whether it's accordion playing or anything else this thing is so crazy i got some gear here i want to start an accordion podcast but i need your help on patreon.com slash squeeze and thanks you can sign up to become a patron member and i set a goal of 10 patrons i'm gonna cut that down to five i have three right now i have three patrons i appreciate you guys supporting but if we can get two more just two more. I'm going to put this gear to use. We're going to start an accordion podcast and it'll be awesome. You guys will get even more information out of that than you did this. So if you guys want to sign up and buy me a coffee once a month, it'll go a long way. We're, we're, we're trying to do some really cool things for the accordion community. I know it's something that you guys would want to get behind and there's some cool benefits to it as well. So I think for as little as three bucks a month, you know, you could support and I really appreciate it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, once again, click the like button. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.